Welcome to today's broadcast of Sun, Salt, and Light. Sun, Salt, and Light, S-O-N, knowing and growing in your daily relationship with Jesus Christ, but also being the salt and the light in your marriage, in your family, at your place of work, at your church, and even in the community you're in. I'm Pastor Michael Petit. This is a radio ministry of our church, Calvary Chapel Divine, here in Divine, Texas. We are so glad that you joined us for today's broadcast. We are a Calvary Chapel, so we simply teach the Bible verse by verse, chapter by chapter. We believe that God uses His Word to transform, restore, and to change lives one verse at a time. If you're visiting our area, you'd like to get information about our church or church service times, maybe even track down some of the other teachings that we have available through podcasts, whether it's through Audible or Spotify or Apple Podcasts, you can do all of that at our church website at calvarydivine.org. That's calvarydivine.org. They have no clue. And we have artists that are participating in this. You have Kanye West who was, man, I'm going to tell you what, came to faith, lost He's lost right now. Why is he lost? Discipleship is an important thing that needs to happen. When somebody's young in the faith and with that much influence, somebody that was strong in the faith should have came alongside of him. Because as a new creation in Christ, a lot of those worldly things need to start, start dissipating. He was recently interviewed for his new album and he said, Kanye West said this, I have issues with Jesus. I have issues putting problems into his, into his own hands. I have to take care of them myself now. There's a lot of stuff I went through, and I prayed, and I didn't see Jesus show up. Later in the interview, he claimed that he was God himself. Because I'm God, he said. When I asked about success in the music industry and how he has disappeared... And anyone wants to disagree with me, I am the God of me. You can tell me who I am. I can tell y'all, I could tell y'all, it's your job to listen. I am the God of me. And that's where his thought pattern is now. And yet, where do we go to? Our kids are going straight to music. It's sad. It's sad that because you didn't get things the way you want, you're a billionaire. But something didn't get taken care of the way you want and you blame God. And yet you came to faith and God said to follow Him. Not Him follow you. This is where we get this mixed up. So it's not, okay, I'm, I'm, okay, Lord, I'm on social media, follow me now. I got this. How many of us have had things go wrong in our life that we were like, come on, right? We all have. That's not even the music industry with Travis Scott and Taylor Swift and Sam Smith and Kim Petras, Billie Eilish, Little Nas X, and Doja Cat who all had satanic themes in their shows and in their video and also casting spells during the shows. This is where the kids are going for their advice. Not a good place to go, right? And that's not even dealing with the pornographic side of the music. Like Cardi B and Nicki Minaj and all that. That's all pornographic. But this is what our kids are filtering and putting into their heads. And if they do it, I can do it. This is where they're going to advice. Why? Because the parents aren't there. And if you're a grandparent, step up. Help your kids. If you see your kids struggling, step up. If they got grandbabies, man, you, you try to help out as much as you can. Look, it's not easy. We have JoJo and Grace. They spend the night with us so that way they can be at church because the mama was working on Sunday. But we wanted to make sure they were here in church. Do you understand? It's a lot. But we get them up, get them dressed, get them here, get them fed. 
Get them to bed. Why? Because we want them to have that foundation in Christ. I would rather them be here than be traveling in the car back and forth while dad has to drop off mom for work. That's all my wife. My wife's like, we got to have the kids spend that. Okay, let's do it. And then it's grandpa, I need, and you hear him yelling, grandpa. And it's like, you know, it's, but it is what it is. I would rather them be here. We have a responsibility as parents. We have a responsibility as fathers. In Joshua 24, verse 15, it says, But if it, if it is disagreeable in your sight to serve the Lord, choose yourself today whom you will serve, whether the gods which your father served, which are beyond the Euphrates, or the gods of the Amorites. In whose land are you living? But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We have to make that a deliberate decision and choice for our faith. He's telling you all this worldly stuff. Because can I tell you, be honest, like that's one thing out of Puff Dutt, he did a lot of wrong things. But more money, more problems is a real thing. You get more money, you have more money to spend and get you in more trouble. Sometimes a, a, a second job is not the answer. Because you're neglecting your blessed you with a wife and kids. In Romans chapter 8, verses 6 through 12, it says, For the mind set on the flesh is death, but the mind set on the spirit is life and peace. What is your mind focused on today? Remember, we've learned it this week. Prepare your mind for action, be sober minded. Right? Are you going to have your mind set for the spirit, which is life and peace? Because the mind set on the flesh is hostile toward God. For it does not subject itself to the law of God, for it is not even able to do so. And those who are in the flesh cannot please God. You can do all this stuff. Oh, I'm serving, I'm doing this, I'm not. But if you're in sin and you're feeding your flesh, <laughs> you ain't pleasing God. You may be pleasing the God you made up in your head, but you ain't pleasing the God of the Bible because you're feeding your flesh. You're still in your sin. He said, but if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he does not belong to him. If Christ is in you, though the body, though the body is dead because of sin, yet the Spirit is alive because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, you need to highlight that in your Bible or on your phone. The spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you. He who raised Christ from the dead, he will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. So then, brothers and sisters, we are under obligation not to the flesh to live according to the flesh. He's like, hey, look, this is the problems with Christians is they don't dream big enough. Right? I don't know if God can do it. Man, what is wrong with you? I said it, and I'm, I'm on a whole God, like, Lord, please. By the end of this year, we'll be two services. We won't be able to fit everybody on one service. And I go, well, that's a, well, that's a big, tall order, right? There ain't but a few of us here on a Wednesday night. Well, guess what? You can have a 200-person church, and there's only going to be a few on Wednesday night. I've been in that, and there's only a few on Wednesday night. <laughs> and if you want to see even less, go to a prayer meeting. It gets even smaller. That's how it is. 
Now, I'm not asking that selfishly. I'm asking that because I know the community needs Christ. I know what's going on in this community. I dream big, right? And you go, well, we can do that? What's wrong with you? Yeah. I'm praying that school right there, not one child has to pay tuition to be in that school. And you go, it can't happen. I've already had it told to me three times, so I'm like, okay, well, here we go. I love when you say can't. God who owns the cattle on a thousand hills can't pay tuitions for 20 kids, 30 kids, 40 kids. It's being done in San Antonio at Calvary Chapel San Antonio Academy. It's been done for the last 20 years. It can be done. But you have to dream big. Don't you want these kids to have a foundation in Christ? Yes, I do. It's, it's, we have to understand that resurrection, the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you. In you. And in me. We need it. We can't live this life without it. So we need to be feeding the Spirit and not the flesh. Spend time teaching your family about God. Don't let things just be, oh, it's happenstance. Oh, the, man, it's, we're lucky this happened. No, you're, that's God. That's God moving. You need to get lucky out of their vocabulary. That doesn't happen with Christians. That's God moving. God moved today. Cord didn't fall through the roof. I got a picture of him up there with his, his gun doing all the stuff he's doing. Not a gun gun. Because everybody's going to be like, what is wrong with y'all's church? But as he's sealing up all the holes in the roof, he's up there just smiling. He was in his happy place. And me and Kirk are like, Kirk's like, can you stand over there? Because if he falls, he's probably going to hit you, Mike. And I was, I was like, I was like, come on, bro. And, but the, it's, it's what God is doing. It's what God is doing. And will it rain tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Will we have a leak? Maybe. But we'll just keep moving forward. If we have to get back up on the roof four or five more times, we'll do it. We're not stopping. Dream big. Pray big. Pray big. Say like, Lord, I know you can do this. I don't know how it's going to happen, but it'll happen because I trust you. I'm not asking for anything ungodly. That's why I tell people like sometimes with young couples, they won't pray like they need a home. It's like, do you understand like that's something that God wants you to like? He wants you to be able to cultivate and have a home. I'm not saying that we pray for stuff. I'm just saying, like, if you need a car for work because you can't get back and forth to work, you got to pray for that stuff. You ask other people, hey, like, my car died. I can't get back and forth to work. Can you pray? Can, can I tell you I've seen that happen? And I've gotten way off topic. I'm sorry. But I've seen that happen where somebody, their car died. Engine froze. And it was not one of those ones where you go, hey, let's try to rebuild the engine. It was like, it's done. And we started praying. Somebody handed that kid keys for him and his family so he could get back and forth to work to feed his family. The church, somebody in the church just said, here. Not payments, not nothing. Here. The Lord put it on my heart that y'all needed this. And it's like, man, like what a blessing that is to see when, when that happens. Like that's God moving. You know, it's not about stuff. I'm not saying that. But it's like here is a family in dire need and God provides through somebody else that had it put on their heart. The Holy Spirit put it on their heart and they... 
they're like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this car. I'm, I, you know, I don't really need it. And they're like, well, I heard you needed a car. Stuff happens. But for us, we have to be the salt and the light. And we need to be that in our families as well. Um, I love verse uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 13, 13 through 16. It says, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has become tasteless, how can it be salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under by feet or by people. You are a light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. That's another one you can highlight. If you're salt and light, that's why the name of the radio station is Sun, Salt, Light. It's so you know and grow in the Son, Jesus Christ, and that you would be the salt and light, in, and you need to get this, in your marriage, in your family, in the church, and then the community. Do you get the marriages first and then the family? That's why he tells you, like, don't hide it in the home. Be faithful. Live, your, live your, your faith out in your home. Be the light. It starts there. If your kids see you boldly, faithfully living the light out and being the salt in the home, what are they going to do? They're going to be that way with their friends. That's how we should be. Your light must shine before all people in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 15, it says, If anyone, anyone's work is burned up, he will suffer loss, but he himself will be saved, yet only so as through fire. So why do I say that? Because Lot is coming in hot. He is, when he gets to heaven, he's, because he's, I mean, he's backslidden. And he's lucky to be in heaven. Like you read, Lot is righteous, and you're like, because of God. Right, but I don't want to be somebody who just comes into heaven. I'm there. What did you do? You glorified yourself, or you're backslidden. You just were barely like, you know. The next part we see, and 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 we probably won't get to the next part because it's already time already. Look at that. Well, we did better than one verse last week, right? Right? <laughs> we only got through one last week. I got all the way to 20, I think 22 here we got to. I can't complain. We got to 22. That'll be better because then we can just finish the rest of the chapter when we, when we get to it. Because we're going to see, um, unfortunately, his wife's uh, looking back. And it's funny because, it's not funny, but it's, it's because Jesus speaks about it. Because he tells him, hey, remember Lot's wife? Like Jesus said, remember Lot's wife? Stop looking back. Right? So we'll stop there because if not, we only got to 15. Man, what's wrong with me? All right, well, we got to 15. That's a lot better than one verse last week. But we're going to just keep taking our time as we go through this. I don't want to keep you all till 8 o'clock. We're not going to do that. Um... Because Teresa's got the kids and she's had kids all day today. So <laughs> I got I promised her. Because she told me, was Steve cutting you off? I said, no, I was cutting myself off. I knew at you know, all. So um, let's go ahead and pray. And uh, we'll call it a night. And we'll pick it up. Next week, I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do. And I'll, I'll, I'll let you all know Sunday I'm going to pray about it. Um, although Pam said we could go to the beach. And I think that's an awesome idea. We should do that. Um, but uh, we have uh, a ceremony here Thursday morning. I have a Good Friday service at noon, and then I have a Good Friday service on Friday here at 6.30. And then we have Easter service on Sunday. And so what we want to do is, is I'm praying about what we're going to do on Wednesday. We, we probably will just take a break. We may pray. We may, I don't know. I'm going to pray about it. The Holy Spirit will show me what 
what we need to do. I need to pray about it. If I need to continue this on, and then I'll just do that. That's not a not an issue. I'm I'm always ready to teach, but I just think that maybe we should be praying for the people that are coming Sunday. Is really what's on my heart, and then maybe we'll watch a little bit of Passion of the Christ or something to get us ready, get our minds right for what's coming. And all, and just to remember, like that resurrection power is running through your veins, running through your veins. Like you should be like, man, I could tell you last night. Whew, I didn't feel it. But I, I heard that from Skip last night, one of the teachings I heard, and it was like you, in your worst moment, worship. And I was like, no, what's wrong with you? You know, it's like, come on, man, I, I'm in this moment. I need to, no, it's like you need to worship. Worship. It, it changes the whole direction of everything and so we worship in the darkest moments of our lives we worship well that concludes today's broadcast of sun salt and light radio we hope that you enjoyed it if you'd like to submit a prayer request or get in contact with us to find out service times you can do all of that at our website uh, as well as get uh, our podcast at spotify audible tune in radio pretty much wherever you can find a podcast uh, you you can just type in sun salt and light and you'll find it 